degree show, I'm creating a fully immersive installation of a party gone wrong. When the audience walks around the room, they realize that everything in the room is actually fake. Objects such as these are once enjoyed, but then left abandoned. Let me take you on a journey on how I made all of these sculptures. So I decided to start off with the most difficult object, which was the balloon. Here I am taking apart a two-part mold. This is the largest mold I've ever made and it was really heavy, but I was really happy about the results. So I mixed up some slip and we slip casted the balloon. So as you can see, it came out perfectly. There's wrinkles that are exactly where they should be, but what? Why? So I found that just slip casting was just not an option. So what I decided to do is push a slab of clay inside the mold and just attach the two sides together. Here you can see that I've cut a hole at the back so it can hang on the wall. So I made a couple of these perfect balloons, but also I wanted to have some deflated balloons on the floor. So I got some cracks in my balloons, which is really unfortunate, but that's okay because I'll just fill them in with mini putt. See the small little cracks here and there, but that's okay. So I decided not to glaze them, so instead I spray painted them with a primer and a chrome finish. So I just completed this balloon and I think I'm going to get on to making some food next. So the first thing I'm going to make is baked beans. I do love the luminous orange sauce that it has and the fact that it comes in a tin is almost disposable. So what I'm going to do is immortalize it by making little clay beans and making the sauce out of resin and then maybe having like resin coming from it or like it knocked over or like a maybe a spoon in it. but. This is going to be my first food item. I just showed you how I made these big beans. I've also made some noodles. And now I'm gonna show you how I made this cereal. making this cereal. You can see the difference in the milk and the Cheerio bit. It's very shiny and the other bit is very matte. So that's exactly what I wanted. So next I was thinking, since I've made all of these drinks, so I've got the red wine and I've also made these champagne flutes spilt over and I've even included this bubbles at the top to really make it look like champagne. I wanted to maybe have some wine bottles, but then I thought that maybe mix it up a little bit and use beer bottles. So I've got these beer bottles and I'm going to take them into plastic to see if we can make a two part mold. <laughs>
I just finished all my bottles and I'm really happy in how they turned out. So this one is Be Wiser instead of Budweiser because Be Wiser, it's not real. <laughs> I think you can't have a party without a disco ball, so I made one. <laughs> So, I just completed my disco ball. I added these little chunks to the bottom to make it look like it's smashed on the ground. Um, so, I'm on my way to the ceramic workshop to make some ashtrays. So as part of my research, I actually go to shops and go to their party section and I look around and I just see if I have forgotten anything that is quite crucial to a party. So I came across these party hats and I think I'm going to go to metals and see if I can make these out of metal because they're out of cardboard and probably the opposite is metal. So I'll see if I can make these. <laughs> Thank you for coming along with me and hopefully see you at the degree show.